Hello, motivators. Timothy McCain here. I hope you are doing okay. Today, I just want to be before you just for a few moments. And I want to share a thought with you that I think it is important to understand. The first thought I had when I woke up from bed this morning was to pray for Nick Cannon. And there's been some things that have transpired and um, and watching some posts and, and things of that nature. And uh, and then just he- reading about a, this, his thought of even taking his own life. And uh, and so uh, this last year or so, a couple of years, uh, I really felt pressured, felt challenged, convicted rather uh, to pray for celebrities. And I think it's important for us to all of us to have in mind is that these individuals we see on TV, we read, we read about, we watch in movies, these entertainers, actors, actresses, and, and all these other reality stars and individuals who may be before the spotlight or in the spotlight, we got to remember that they are people too, that they are people too. And understand there is, they, 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 they're, man, they're giving their, their, their life, life, so to speak, not physically, but their livelihood, their occupation, their career in front of the camera. But we got to remember that they're not characters. They're people with real hurts, with real pain, with real situations, with real tears, with real dynamics, with 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 real consequences, with real sorrow, with real uh, issues, fam. In the same way that we deal with our issues or we walk through things with a thing that we have uh, that they may not have is that we have the, the privilege of closed doors, the privilege of silence, the privilege of animosity, the privilege of, 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 dice, of working through these things in pro, uh, and, not, and behind closed doors and not in the eye of the public. And so in the last couple of years, I really felt challenged to pray for the celebrities they have no idea who I am and uh, and I may never, ever, never actually meet one. But I just feel like it's important for all of us to do just that. I myself, I am a Christian. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a follower of Jesus and I have a relationship with God. And so I try to make sure that things I read about in the Bible, uh, the character of Christ, that I try to implement these truths in my life. Um, and I do believe, family, that there's moments where we have to be the individuals that's going to hold up somebody else's arm when they're tired. And so I, I this this podcast, this video is going to be short, but I just want to make a plea to you. I want to ask you, the same people you laugh about or you laugh at or you laugh with, the same entertainers, the same people you bob your head to to the beat, the same celebrities you watch on TV, the same individuals that, that you may be have uh, benefit from from seeing the fruit of their lives on, on a film or on a, on a whatever the case may be. Can you make a commitment to pray for them because celebrities are people too? My heart, man, is, is man, is am I, I'm reach, I, my heart is full. Uh, for these individuals, and I'm thinking about again Nick Cannon and all the things that he's going through right now, and how he felt like his life turned upside down, inside out, literally. And uh, but our thought is, man, who does he have? Who goes to him? Everyone wanting to pull something out, everyone wanting something from him. All the uh, times in his life where he through wilding out or with all these other things where he helped people find their first breaks. Who at this moment? Who has his back? And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm quite sure, and at least I'm hoping that there's individuals all around him that does that. He has a place to go. But in the darkest moments, the Bible says this, the brothers are born during time of adversity. This whole thing that happened with Meg, uh, Meg the Stallion uh, get, uh, and, and, her, and getting shot and all these things. And, and, um, and forgive me, I don't know. I don't sip the tea like that, so I don't know everybody's names and all the details. But uh, but the individuals that was that was connected to that, right? And then seeing her post regarding that, hey, this is my real life. You know what I'm saying? And so all these things where she may be traveling all this world or whatever, insta- all on social media, we got to remember that these people are people too. Celebrities are people too. And I want to encourage you the same fervency that you may have laughing or joking or bobbing your head or whatever to, to a beat uh, from these individuals that you, that we may find entertaining. Let's make a, let's make a commitment to pray for them. I know this may not be asking much. And again, I might, I don't want to make any assumptions that there's people around them, that they have people in their circles, that they have, that they have individuals that's going to fight with them or, or fight for them. Certain, not, sorry, not with them, but fight for them and during their times of need. 
I can only imagine what it's like to when you as your life gains further success that you constantly have to evaluate the people in your circle. Who is there for me? Uh, who is there for me or who is there to get something from me? But there's a verse that says brother brothers are born to during, during the times of adversity. And this is a moment, family, during the hardest moments of their life that I'm praying that Jesus will once again make himself known in such a real radical way. Not 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 religion, Jesus, not 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 this Jesus, true Jesus, his character, his life, him will reveal himself in such a real way where he will they will f discover and or find out or go to that he is a comforter, that he is a counselor, that he, the Holy Spirit will embrace them, family. I'm praying for I'm praying for them. And I want to ask you to do the same. Pray for them. Lift them up. Reach out. Send send text messages if you have their number. Reach out. If you know a celebrity, where whether or not these individuals, Nick Cannon or Meg or Will and Jada and all these other individuals or who's going through some things in public where where people talk about they trend they make soap um, uh, discussions regarding someone else's pain and laugh about it family what how would it feel if, if if the roles were reversed if what happened in your life in private was it was talked about laughed and ridiculed in public it probably wouldn't feel good so family i just want to encourage you i'm just making this plea i'm asking you let's pray for celebrities let's pray for them i can i can't imagine what it's like and again, I know I'm my heart. I would love, man, any celebrities watching this. Listen, Nick Cannon, Meg, uh, Will and Jada, any anybody. I'm saying these these are these are ones that I, I saw recently, but I'm sure there's pain going on that I don't know about. Many people don't know about. And you're wondering, man, who can I go? Where can I go? All the people around you in your circle, you're wondering who's there for me, who's really there for me. I, I'm praying this, that you find an Aaron and you find a her. What do I mean by this? There's a story in the Old Testament where God is giving Moses instructions of a time of battle. And Joshua, which is the younger generation, he was a warrior and he was fighting in the valley. And God gave Moses these simple instructions. He said, keep your hands up. And it may sound easy to do. And so he's like, oh, that's all I got to do. And so he kept his hands up. And the Bible talk, as, as, it talks about how as long as the hands was lifted up, the Israelites were going to win. But the moment the Bible discusses and shares with us in the Old Testament that his, eventually his arms started getting tired. And his arms started to drop, the Israelites started to lose. Joshua and Israelites started to lose at the time in the battle. But Moses had something, had someone, had a couple of people that was aware of his assignment, that was aware of his battle. Joshua may may have Joshua was fighting a physical battle. Moses was fighting one as well. It looked differently, it looked different, but both were just as important. The Bible talks about how his arms started getting tired, growing weary. These two individuals, one is named Aaron, another her. They sat Moses down on a rock and one got on each of their arms and lifted up their arms during time of weariness. And so Joshua was able to do what he's called to do. Joshua was able to win. Moses was able to do what he called to do. Why? Because he had people around him that lifted up him, lifted him up during times of weakness, during times of struggle. That's what I ask us to do, family. And again, I understand they don't know me from the man in the moon and they may not know you from the man in the moon. But I just I do believe in prayer and I do believe in intercession. And if you know this, these individuals personally, reach out to them, call them. Family, my heart for this channel has always been for the TM Motivations to be in an oasis of hope in a desert of hopelessness. And I do not want to read another post about a suicide, about a suicide attempt, about a drug overdose, about this and that, about a place of abandonment of someone that, that made people laugh. And we will look back at around and said, hey, I didn't know it was that bad. But there's this term called smiling depression. How do we know that they're not going through these things, knowing that they feeling like they don't have permission to feel, to process, to receive because they keep got to grind, grind, they keep got to doing where they feel committed to their fans to 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 produce even at the at the at the at the mercy of their own health. I am concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned for Nick Cannon. I'm concerned for Meg. I'm concerned for Will and Jada. I'm concerned for all these different celebrities. I'm concerned for what they're going through. And I'm concerned that that they may be going through it alone. And but I, I, I know I'm hope I'm giving the benefit of the doubt and I'm praying and I'm hoping again. I don't know that any I don't know anything about them, anything about them. Other than what I just saw on social media. But I want man, my prayers, like, man. 
You realize if you're a Christian, if you're a follower of Christ, you realize, family, we are the billboards. We are the advertisement. We are the representative of Jesus in this world. We uh, the Bible. The Bible talks about how how it says it says, let your light so shine among men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. What? Listen to this. In the beginning, before there was anything, there was God and God said, let there be light. Jesus walks the world. And he says, I am the light of the world. Then he looks at the disciples, he looks to us, and he says, let your light so shine on my men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Family, it is imperative, it's vital that we are people who are shining light, not just in tensions, but in deeds. So in this moment, even if it's just, just prayer, Pray, even though prayer is not our first, our last resort, it's our first priority in our continual in our continual thought and action. But this needs to be a moment where we are not uh, using, quote unquote, celebrities for our own entertainment, but we are being committed to pray for them again. Like I said, there's no meaning of man in the moon. And, and, and but I do believe that we serve a Jesus that sits with Zacchaeus is. We serve a Jesus who still walks in the world waiting for people to reach out and touch the edge of his garment. We still serve people. We still serve a God who, who's raising up Moses. I believe, family, that we need to be believers. We need to be Christians and not just in, 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 in theory, but in actions. And I believe in this moment we need to pray. So can you make a commitment to pray for the celebrities? Make a commitment to pray for everybody you see on TV, whatever, the, whoever, whatever they may be. Pray for them intercede ask god's grace ask god's protection ask god to intervene ask god to ask jesus man to to, uh, to 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 make himself known to them in such a real way let i pray they may find peace so everybody watching if you're a celebrity or or someone in the limelight or whatever the case may be i don't i may not pray for you by name because i don't know who's watching this but i just want you to know if you're in that category this lone chocolate brother here I'm praying for you and I'm believing that your best days are before you. And if you are in this dark moment, this dark time, this difficult time, a hard season in your life, if you don't know who to trust or where to go, if you just feel like you're, you're, you're just surrounded with more questions than answers, I'm praying. I'm praying for you. I'm praying family. I'm praying for you. So me, I want to pray for you now. Heavenly Father, I thank you. God, we may not know all the words to say. God, you're not waiting for us to be perfect before you come, for we come to you because perfection has never been the prerequisite. Desperation, willingness, a desire has always been. And you tell us in the book of Hebrews that we can approach your throne of grace with boldness and confidence. What in the world does that mean, God, that we can come to you knowing that, that you hear us when we pray? We don't have to pray a King James Version we don't have to pray this melonious prayer of eloquent words. God, you hear us and you see us. And just like a father to a son and a daughter, God, you just want to conversate with us and be with us. So, God, I pray right where they may be, right where they are. God, I pray that you that you hear every single word they cry, every single word they pray. God, read and transpose the tears rolling down their face as it hits the ground. Father, make yourself known to them in a real way. God, may they discover you as comforter, as counselor, as friend, not just a God, a far way off sitting on a throne, but a father, a God who's right beside us. God, I thank you, Jesus. Minister to them in their hurtful, in their hurt moments and the forgotten moments. Pull them out of that place of depression. God, your word says you, you, you pulled us out of the miry clay and give us a firm place to stand. So God, I thank you right now. And there's time where they're in a, feel like they're in a slippery slope at a time where they feel like they're grabbing towards a rope covered with oil and they cannot get the traction or the friction to move forward to pull themselves out of. God, I thank you that you are extending your righteous right hand and pulling them out of that dark place. God, show yourself strong, oh God, and may this be a moment that will never be the same for them. God, we pray for every celebrity. We wear whoever and whatever, whoever they may be or whatever they may be involved in. God, I thank you. Show yourself strong. Your word says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I thank you that an appetite is being cultivated in their life right now, that they may taste your goodness. They may taste your freedom, that they may taste your liberty. They may taste your grace. And that God, you will show yourself strong to them. So Jesus, I pray, reveal yourself in such a supernatural way 
God, we understand you're not you're not bound by longitude, latitude, distant time or miles. God, I don't need to know them by name because, you know, the very hairs of their head. God, you know them intricately intri and by detail, you know them. So, God, even though I'm praying right here at this particular time, your word, oh, God, is not bound by time It's timeless. And your word tells us in Isaiah 55, 11, and so is the word that comes out of your mouth. It will not return to you void. So we declare your word, oh God, right now over them. Become their peace. Become their strength. Become their hope. Even though they may feel like they're in a hopeless time, show yourself strong. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I know this is a different video, but my heart is heavy. And I know this, this may, may, a celebrity may never watch this video, or maybe, or maybe you will. I want you to know I'm praying for you. Hang in there. Keep your head above water. And I'm going to ask, I know this is hard. I know this is hard. But people need you. I'm not just talking about the fans. I'm not talking about your career. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the ones who before, before everyone shouted out your name. Your family needs you. Your son, your daughter, they need you. Your mama and your daddy. They need your brothers and your sisters. They need you and they need you and you need yourself to stand. So no, I'm praying for you. My name is Timothy McCain. God bless you all. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's share this video. And I'm believing, family, that celebrities will no longer feel used, will no longer feel tolerated, will no longer feel that they're, that they're only valued with, through the cheers of the crowd when things are going great. And undermined, disproved, cast aside, pushed aside, stepped over and stepped on when things aren't going great. But may they know that we see them as people too. Why? Because in many ways, all of us are family. God bless you all. Peace.